G'day everyone. Today I'm going to have a bit of a look at new Calcium Pro test kit sent out by Red Sea to have a look at and also went down to see Nick and picked up new Reefer Skinner 900 to replace the Airships and happy with both products so far. <laughs> Just going to jump straight into the Calcium Pro test kit here. Quick unboxing. As you can see, I already got a couple of other Red Sea tests there. I've got the magnesium and the nitrate. So, pretty familiar with the titration. It's a great setup. The, having it all held in one hand and being able to steadily drip and shake and view all at the same time really makes it quite accurate and quite fast to do the test or also having API test kit and a HANA test kit for calcium it's good to have a go at this as well because the HANA yet yeah, super accurate but a little bit finicky in the test to get repeatable measurements and sort of not something you want to commit to every time and API is not too accurate so having the accuracy of this at the speed you can do a test is is a no no brainer it's, it's great test finally getting rid of the airships s300 as you can see there i replaced the silencer nick hooked me up with a red c one there to make it a bit quieter but it performed really well but yeah that that thing is loud it is needs a little bit of design improvement which is what actually drew my attention to wanting to get one of these Red Sea skimmers to start with because straight away watching how the whole motor is isolated from the housing everything's rubber mounted like the motor sits in a rubber rubber fingers on a rubber mount not even the venturi air venturi that goes through the front that that is also seated in rubber so there's nothing to pass the vibrations from the pump into the housing of the skimmer into the body of the skimmer and then into the stand which is what caused all the resonance and the, the loud volume from the airship so I was super keen to get this in and and check out the difference the thought and design that's gone into this skimmer really stands out this is this is a huge upgrade it it has been really thought through how to get the maximum out of the the size of the skimmer body having the water height adjustable through the base plate is you can see how much more bubble volume you can actually hold in the body so more bubble volume more surface area more contact time it's it's a great design assembly was really straightforward there's nothing too much to mention the diagrams are pretty pretty detailed that I didn't really get stuck with anything at all so I, I can't see anyone else having a, a problem putting it together with the instructions included fits nicely in the back of the 750 sump would like to have skimmer in the front section and swap the refugium to the rear but there's no skimmer that is going to fit there definitely going to say this is the best phone production out of the four brands of skimmers I've had Look at that foam head. You'd... The neck cleaner, that's brilliant. Having that included, not an optional lecture, that, that's an awesome idea. You can see just a couple of turns and all that crud that you normally have to pull your skimmer cup out and clean the neck for is just dropped straight back on the top of the skim and produced straight back in a foam. Next step to cleaning your skimmer is use the included hose and drain the cup there's still don't have to remove the cup the skimmer stays in there there's no skim mate getting spilt anywhere it's excellent design love this skimmer as there's not enough uptake in the 750 yet it's just doing water changes to maintain parameters and got a new upgrade planned for dosing in the future thanks for taking the time to check out the 
mini update, a couple of new Red Sea products in the way of upgrading the XXL 750. Everything's still moving along as planned. Please like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think. Thanks.